Joseph, Graper Green. I'm going to show you a simple gray water system for new homes as well as retrofit. It's basically taking a in the ground distribution box like this. It's going in the ground. This will be flush with the surface. You're not going to have anything sticking up that can cause problems. This distribution box is going to either have latches, locks, or in this case, this one's actually screwed in. So that way it prevents people from tampering with it. The gray water flows through the top. It comes unpre-drilled. That way, wherever your output is, it, you can size it to where it needs to go into. Once it hits the, the unit itself, it goes through a filter inside the box and then exits out the bottom. That's the key point that it needs to exit out the bottom because it's a flow through system. You don't want gray water holding into the system at all. Once it flows through your standard inch and a half ABS pipe, goes out to where the aquifer pipe is buried. The aquifer pipe is buried in series, so that way you're irrigating a nice full landscape. It could be a lawn, shrubbery, trees, and the gray water is going to enter in through this system right here, the inch and a half, and then it's going to pass through these side channels, and then it's going to create this nice moisture plume in the center. For the moisture plume, it creates out four feet on each side and up to 12 inches on top, and that's where the grass roots or any type of plants are going to feed from, from the moisture plume. Now, as, this, as the gray water enters into this unit, it's going to pass through a filter. And this filter is just going to capture the hair and the lint, and the gray water is going to pass right on through. So it makes it very easy to maintain. This is about a 50 cents to a dollar. Just throw it away or hose it down. Put another one in, put the lid back on, screw it down and your system's ready to go again. I hope that helps out on just a, what a basic gray water system could be like for neither a new home or retrofit.